We want to give a big shout out to our friends at Stryker for sponsoring this video. I just visited their global headquarters in Kalamazoo, Michigan, and wow, this leading medical manufacturer has state-of-the-art workplaces, provides top pay, and even has a housing stipend for their interns. Learn more about how Stryker supports their employees who are in first by going to careers.stryker.com forward slash first. Hey, I'm Ben. I'm here with First Updates Now. I'm here with the uh, alumni, Alumni Robotics Alumni Association. Thank you. It's a little bit of a mouthful. And we're here at the first alumni collegiate competition showing these robots and demoing them and really teaching all sorts of teams about what is happening in these games. So I'm going to turn it over to these guys and let them talk about the robot. All right, so uh, our goal was really to make a, a MCC robot a minimum competitive concept. We wanted something that was simple, that any team could produce that would still contribute a lot. So our strategic decision then was to focus on low goal and climbing. Uh, climbing being the maximum, the, the most efficient way to score points and low goal just to help get the numbers up so you can get the uh, operating console points. So our system is fairly simple. We've got an over the bumper intake in the back that uh, just uses some Versa rollers with some um, neoprene rubber over the top. So that uh, pulls, the ro pulls the ball right over the bumper into the robot. And then our intake system uh, actuates up and down on pistons. So when we're intaking multiple balls, we can run it up and it will it'll hold multiple balls without spitting them out. So we can continue to ru continually run the intake, take in up to five balls, and then when we're ready to score, clamp down on them and outtake into the low goal. Uh, as far as our climb goals, like I said, we wanted to keep it simple. So rather than a hook or something, um, we also wanted to have something that you could have multiple attempts uh, at getting, uh, getting clamped onto the bar, because a lot of teams have trouble with only having one shot. So our system is just a, a linkage um, on these pneumatic pistons here. So when we actuate it, um, it deploys. It's got a, a string linkage to raise the second, si or the second arm of this lift, which gets us up to the height for the bar. Then we can actually drive back and forth, and we can have several attempts to get our hook on the bar before we lift. And then we just have a ratcheting gearbox. Um, this was just something that we had around our shop from last year, but any ratcheting gearbox, I know there's a Versa Planetary stage. There's a few other gearboxes that have ratcheting systems could work in this application. We're just using some cable tie-down straps to lift the robot. Awesome, guys. So what have you learned throughout this process? What's something that you would do differently on this robot now that you've been through it? Um, I think for us, just having um, the, the, the limitation of the three days, not having a lot of time to test and not having the uh, game pieces to test was the biggest limitation. So having more, um, taking advantage of the time to test and really running the robot through its paces, finding the things that fail and improving those before you get to competition is the biggest takeaway we think we had. Awesome, thanks so much. Anyway, I'm here with the Illini Robotics Alumni Association, and this is at the first alumni collegiate competition showing all the great teams here. Thanks to all of our co-executive producers on Patreon and tier two plus subscribers on Twitch, keeping fun loud, live, and independent.